hello viewers i welcome you all from my channel of tech channel and uh, today we are going to talk about two different type of uh, site views regarding they they are separated by uh, their name and by their user interface as well that is team site classic experience versus uh, the modern experience till uh, 2013 and 2016 sharepoint gives you the uh, accessibility to create a classic experience uh, team sites but in sharepoint uh, 2019 and in sharepoint server subscription edition 2022 uh, sharepoint has given you an interface that is known as the modern interface so in our previous videos we created both uh, sites we created the modern one and the classic one and in our current video we are going to see that what is the difference uh, between the user interface and the controls so let's start this is our uh, classic experience team site uh, default page and uh, you can see that this is the interface of our uh, classic experience and if we uh, go and see the uh, interface of modern experience this is the modern experience if we compare it with the left navigation bars you can see that this left navigation bar is uh, less users uh, friendly because it has uh, no uh, prominent uh, partition but if we go here you can see that it has a proper partition here this left navigation bar has a proper partition here similarly if we go and see uh, to edit links you can add multiple links here for adding a link a new pop-up appears and you uh, specify a text to display that will be displayed here and you will mention the address as well similarly if you go and uh, want to add your navigation links uh, here it's just simple you will go and add on a plus and here you can add new navigation link so uh, controls have just become easy uh, and the user interface has become easy uh, more user friendly in a modern experience so regarding the search bar the search uh, facility is available at top right corner whereas in team site the search facility is available in the uh, top left corner so uh, again going into the classic view here you can see that there are different type of uh, links that are available here and if you go here and uh, here you can add a web part actually this is a web part this is a web part that you have uh, that is already added and you can add it uh, as per your convenience as well but in modern site the web part is uh, of compatible to this one is known as the hero so uh, you can add a hero here and uh, this hero is very dynamic right now i don't have uh, any options of uh, you can say uh, images let me find some uh, proper image uh, from a site let's say uh, hey let me check whether I have some images here yes I have images let's say these are uh, four or five images and uh, i copy it here okay fine what i'm going to do i'm going to upload them to give you an understanding of hero web part here we are going to we are just adding two or three uh, four or five images here to give you an option uh, yeah uh, idea of uh, hero web part so here you can see that we have added five images uh, in classic view you can see that these were like that and now this is like that 
on these images you can even uh, give the hyperlink so that whenever the user click here uh, the image uh, may navigate you to the specified URL as well so it's uh, quite easy to edit your uh, web part uh, web parts to add your web parts you just need to add simple text image file viewer list and many other things as well uh, in modern sites but if you consider it uh, in classic view all you have to go you have to go into page and edit that page and editing that page you have to uh, here go and add or edit a web part so this was not so user friendly and it was also quite a little uh, difficult to uh, customize the page there were no more user friendly options available but here you can see that it's quite user friendly so by using the modern sites it is quite uh, evident that uh, uh, you can bring a very uh, user friendly and interesting uh, modern site templates as well intranet based uh, sites as well okay so uh, we are going to save it and we are going to proceed next now if you go into the documents if you go into the documents view this was the this is the uh, modern view if you return into the classic view here you can see that this is the classic view of the document whereas if you go here you can see that uh, this is the modern view of the uh, classic uh, sorry uh, modern view of the document library that is available so you can see the difference of uh, interface that is available this is the modern view and this is the classic view so here you have to upload different uh, for uploading the document you just select that document and you click ok and that document is added for uploading same on this one what you know what you can do you can click here and it will give you an option of this one the document has been added so this is the option of uh, adding the documents here it's less user friendly and here it's more user friendly here you have the better controls of the views here you can filter out the things you can see the event history uh, in just simple ways and in this here you can uh, not do so you cannot track the changes here you can go and see the views here the all of the views here will be mentioned here and uh, this is about the classic experience so if we talk about the controls of library settings that is quite similar that you just go into the top right setting here and here you can go into the library settings but for editing that site documents here you go on the top left here and here you can uh, play with that controls you can go into the library setting then you will be proceeded to the same page in which which was this page so uh, this is the difference between the controls as well you can create views here but for creating views here in modern concept it's quite easy you just go into library settings and here you can see the view and create a new view similarly if we go back into the site uh, all the and we go in back into the site of model site as well so for uh, customizing that page you have to go here and for uh, seeing the site settings you can go here similarly for customizing the page you just need to click here this option is only available with uh, the users having the edit permissions all the users with the view permissions cannot edit that site that bar will be not visible to them similarly if you go here and you want to add one more uh, app all you need to do is to go into site contents and after going into site contents you can add any app here you can add an app that is document library custom list or anything else 
for adding the same in modern sites you can just click here and you can click you can add con app so it's quite simple so these were the major differences between and the controls and user interface point of view among these sites that is the modern site and uh, the classic sites views and I want to just give you a better understanding of these sites so that you can better estimate that what is the difference between them so I thank you all for watching this video and guys if you are liking these videos please like the video share it comment if you have any problem and I and last of all I request you all to subscribe the channel I thank you all for watching this video